Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings present us with powerful examples of courage, faith, and the cost of discipleship. As we reflect on these passages, let us open our hearts to the lessons they offer and seek to apply them in our own lives. In the first reading from the book of Jeremiah, we encounter the prophet Jeremiah standing firm in the face of opposition. The priests and prophets demand his death for speaking the truth that God has revealed to him. Despite the threat to his life, Jeremiah remains steadfast, proclaiming the message that God has entrusted to him. His courage is a testament to his deep faith and trust in God's providence. Jeremiah's experience reminds us that being a messenger of God's truth is not always easy. It often requires great courage and a willingness to face persecution. In our own lives, we may encounter situations where standing up for our faith and values puts us at odds with others. In those moments, let us draw strength from Jeremiah's example and remember that God is always with us, guiding and protecting us. The responsorial psalm today, Psalm 69, echoes the theme of seeking God's help in times of distress. The psalmist cries out to God, asking for deliverance from the deep waters of suffering and persecution. Yet, even in the midst of his trials, he praises God's name with a song of thanksgiving. This psalm teaches us the importance of turning to God in our moments of need and trusting in his unfailing love and mercy. In the Gospel reading from Matthew, we hear the tragic story of the beheading of John the Baptist. John, like Jeremiah, was a fearless prophet who spoke the truth even when it meant confronting powerful figures like King Herod. John's unwavering commitment to his mission ultimately cost him his life. His martyrdom is a stark reminder of the sacrifices that sometimes come with being a faithful disciple of Christ. As we reflect on John the Baptist's martyrdom, we are called to examine our own commitment to our faith. Are we willing to stand up for what is right, even when it is difficult or unpopular? Are we prepared to make sacrifices for the sake of the gospel? John's example challenges us to deepen our own discipleship and to be courageous witnesses to the truth. In our world today, we may not face the same physical dangers that Jeremiah and John the Baptist encountered, but we are still called to be courageous in our faith. We are called to speak out against injustice, to defend the dignity of every human person, and to live lives that reflect the love and mercy of Christ. This can be challenging especially in a society that often values comfort and convenience over truth and integrity. As we gather around the Eucharistic table today, let us ask for the grace to be courageous disciples. Let us pray for the strength to stand firm in our faith, even in the face of opposition. And let us remember that, like Jeremiah and John the Baptist, we are never alone. God is with us, guiding us, and giving us the courage we need to be His faithful witnesses in the world. May the example of these great prophets inspire us to live our faith with courage and conviction, and may we always trust in God's unfailing love and protection. Amen.